Hey, what is up guys welcome back to another video so today we have some six star rank four gameplay with karnak uh, we are using him against labyrinth of legends of red hulk uh, i just want to show you some crazy numbers from this guy this is my favorite fight with karnak it's because we got class advantage we can have counter his special one we can have counter his sp2 and his heavy attack it's literally the best scenario for karnak the best we can stack those fragiles without uh, removing our true focus which is perfect which is all we need uh, and basically in this fight we are going to bypass the labyrinth uh, damage cap and there <laughs> how we're going to do that is with hitting him in the block we're literally going to do more damage in the block than when we hit him so you can see here we got one fury and two fragiles right there and i believe my next special two is going to be damage cap, literally like 50k with just two furies and just some, some fragiles. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is damage cap. <laughs> That's it. 26k heavy right there, 30k on the crit, dude. So good. Oh, that was like a huge heavy attack. And look at this. Like when we're hitting so hard with like 70k medium attacks, we also have that bleed damage. Uh, there's a chance to get to bleed the opponent uh, based on your the damage you deal and i believe it's like 35 percent of the damage so it stacks up like literally so high and you'll see in this fight we're gonna sustain our health very good because our healing with poison we got 27k the next part didn't crit because this guy if you, if, if you don't crit this guy you don't gotta do too much damage because he's got so much resistance with those heat charges but it doesn't matter we're still creating like crazy about 18k gonna go for another one 29k let's go for another fragile so good man look at this that was like over 40k let's take a look at that 34 and 50 <laughs> perfect i'm trying to stack all my furies here just to see if we can bypass it uh the damage cap and yeah we can look at that 23k medium attack and within it we have plus 8k on the uh bleed damage and here like look at that he's just melting man so easy of course he prefer block that crit into the block <laughs> 33k and i believe now we're gonna try and bait his block yeah like that 85k i believe that was 85k with the sp2 and that's how you bypass the damage cap and look at that we're having those furies lasting for a while we got like like 55 percent of the duration done still need 45 it's because we're like keep knocking him down that was like over 50k of attack look at this huge sp2 i'm just i'm just gonna that's it 50k heavy attack wow how many hits 102 and now let's move over to the abyss thing and this fight this guy we're gonna fight him twice uh with two different rotations so uh we have uh like abyss thing is it doesn't have any nodes but it's like really tanky um and what we're gonna do here if we're gonna build up to our special three and basically keep spamming it and apply that uh, i think it's called fragile still no is it called fragile i think disorient disorient apply that 85 percent reduction with our disorient i believe it's 85 percent. let me check it uh, like double check it i think it's it's either 85 or 80. Uh, let me check it yeah it's 80. 80 percent of defensive ability accuracy for 30 seconds and 30 seconds are like almost enough for you to like if you're aggressive to get another special of three you're gonna see it's it's quite fast now he doesn't he's got less just to get his rock stacks and also when we have three of our true focus charges, now we're gonna get our third one. We have a chance to bleed that guy. So that means um, we can reduce his rock stacks. Just perfect, that's, that's all we need. And plus this guy, we can do exactly the same thing. We can take a counter his SP1, SP2, and heal attack. So good. So you'll see sometimes that we're gonna bleed him and his rock stacks are gonna get removed. See how he's set immune there? That's because he's immune to bleed. And yeah. Look at that, 22,000 even with the protection on, because we basically ignore it. Like, you're gonna see some big numbers even with the protection on, just because we reduce his defensive ability accuracy, which means no protection for some hits. Like, that was a huge shit attack, see? 
That's like a good combo right there. Like over 40k combo. So good. Keep applying those fragiles, be aggressive. Which you can even hit the block because you gain some power. If you get an awakened Karnak. Look at these rocks. He's got like zero. Just because we are always removing them. So good, man. But look at our health too. We're just blocking everything. Or we're just healing up and healing up. Throw another special three. I'm going to go ahead and skip it in just a second. Um, I want to show you something. Oh, that was a zero. It, it was kind of weird because when he had like the protection, we were usually throwing zeros for some reason, but I don't know why uh, with our hair attacks. But let me go ahead and skip it a little bit. Okay, so I skipped it here. He's got eight of those abyss charges. And you're going to see now uh, what happens when he gets to the second phase of the abyss charges uh, after this special three. So basically, he's got increased ability accuracy, and that means we can no longer bypass his rock stacks. So you can see here, no matter how many uh, hits we do, or how much defensive ability actually we have, he's still gonna get, get those rock stacks with each of our hits, but we can still bleed him and remove them. So you'll see, it goes from seven to six, and then there's a timer, and then you can bleed again, so. If you play a little bit slow, he's never gonna throw a special. Uh, he's never gonna get to 15 rock stacks. So, I guess it'll work. However, another thing that happens here is like this there's a uh, last chance that we can actually re ignore his protection uh, due to his increased ability accuracy uh, with our disorient. So, you can see some hits do, do not bypass the uh, protection, but that one did. See, like 11k, it's not bad. But I can go ahead and skip it here uh, until the end. Got like 60 charges. There we go. Let's leave it here. 18 charges. And as you can see, Karnak, he can do this in one revive. And think is pretty tanky. Like, I'm not going to say he's like the best counter, but it's a pretty safe option if you want to bring like Karnak for maybe Massacre or something. Like, not bad. Definitely not bad. Like, yeah, we're about to die here. Still gonna throw an SP3, I think. <laughs> yeah. From 48%, he's gonna drop to 47, I believe. So with one revive, you can do it. Yep, 47, that's it. So yeah, I'm doing stun right there. And we are dead now. So 47%, not bad at all. Okay, so now this is the second rotation here. Um, basically, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get to three Furies by activating three SP2s. And then we're going to spam SP3s to get the Disorient. So basically, I'm trying to increase my damage. And then um, try the Disorient strat. Now, I am not going to 5 Furies, which is the cap. Uh, just because I want to save some of his Abyss charges, like his first phase. So he can actually bypass his um, protection and actually deal a lot of damage. And if I were to go for 2 more SP2s... He'd be like almost cl close to the second uh, living abyss charges. So, or sorry, not living abyss. Living abyss is no, but he's abyss charges. Uh, there we go. We get the third focus charge, so we can actually bleed him now. So good. Heavy here, and even if you get hit by a specialist, like you're gonna lose one true focus. But <laughs> with max limber, you just ignore any stun. Like it's like one of my favorite utilities about Karnak. Cause now that I run limber, man. It's so fun because you're basically immune to it. Like there's going to be another video uh, coming up. Uh, I don't know, probably Monday, but it's going to be Karnak versus um, Eternity of Pain, Hercules and Overseer. And he literally does those fights without even healing. And the second fight with Overseer has heal block. But I'm basically going to show you how sustainable he is because he takes way less damage from the poison. And he completely ignores auto block because he just... I actually w wanted to tr trigger the auto block in that fight just to remove his auto block thing, but I don't get stunned. Like, literally, doesn't even stop my animation. I'm gonna explain that in the video, uh, though. So, yeah, we have three Furies now. Our play here is to pop special threes. It's not bad. You can see we lost some recoil damage, but we're he slowly healing that up. Not too bad. You can see I'm healing like 132, losing 64. But I believe here I'm like 30% boosted, so that's more health. So that means less healing. Normally, I think I heal like 100 per tick. So, yeah. It's pretty good. See that zero again? <laughs> I don't know why that happens. But look at my damage here. 15k. And plus here, we are missing out... Look at that. Wow. That was like huge here attack. 
But keep in mind, we are missing out a uh, pretty big of our damage because he's bleeding you. So we would be dealing like 35% more damage if he wasn't bleeding you. So it's not even the maximum damage that Karnak has. The maximum damage was in the first fight, Red Hole fight. And you can see how crazy that was, right? And that's without synergies, by the way. It's like he doesn't even have good synergies for his damage. Like the only synergy that's good, like the Medusa one for the ability accuracy, but it's not even that great. I like it, but it's not guaranteed. So yeah, it's just Karnak with <laughs> by himself. <laughs> no one else. Trigger the protector, but we're just gonna bypass it. Look at that man. 16k heavy or medium. Look at this heavy. Oh, the zero again. <laughs> the protection is on, I don't know why. But as you can see, we can keep those furies up there. We're like we're almost gonna lose one, but we just pause it every second. So good. I believe you pause them for 6 seconds if you knock them down and the true strike is like 3 seconds. So, yeah. And we're constantly knocking him down, so that's perfect. Throw this. I think I believe it's going to bypass his protection, so it's going to do normal damage. Let's check it. No, it didn't. 5,000. Okay. Now his abyss charges are gone, so we're going to worry about his um, rock stacks. But we can still bypass his protection, but it's going to be a little bit difficult. But yeah, now... We got 12k, 19k, that is not bad at all. Look at this, 18k, like on the block, see? It's like close to my normal damage, right? Another 18k. So good, man. Can still trigger protection. Yeah, I believe you have, if I had like one more Fury, I would trigger his protection with each hit, hit, but... Yeah, I think I tested it with five Furies and that happened. So, yeah. It's got 56% health. It's got 110 charges. So, yeah, I gotta hit him block now. 18k. Dude, that was like a 40k combo. I tried to bait out his special. But you can see here, on the previous fight, with only spamming SP3s, we finished with like... He had like 47% health. And he's close to 47% health with like a lot of abyss charges left. And we're actually gonna lose this fight because I think he's gonna evade like a heavy attack, which is nothing he can do. But this basically shows you that this is like the better rotation. The SP3 is like the safe rotation because you just don't take the recoil damage, I guess, for three times. But it doesn't even matter because this can just heal it up, right? Yeah, you see here, he evaded me. I'm dead. So he's got, a f he had 49. Let's pause it a bit. Not pause it. Bring it back. So, come on. Okay, so he, before he evaded, let me see. Yep, he evaded here. So he had 49% health left. And we have 79 of those abyss charges. So that means we could definitely take him down at least another 10%. So we could take him down like to 40%. And the previous attempt, oh, look at the thing here. He's like super aggressive. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the previous try, we actually finished all of our, of our abyss charges and he had 47% health. So this is the better rotation for Karnak against Thing. But yeah, I'm just trying to show you that he can do like. Now he can do Massacre with one revive. He can do Think with one revive. It's not bad. Like I would love to test him out with some other, uh, some other Abyss fights. Maybe. Uh, I'll see if he can do like some other ones, uh, really well. Uh, is there a Spider Man or something? Maybe there is, but I'll check it. So yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed those fights because, like I said, fights where Karnak, you, where you can heavy attack with Karnak from their heavy attacks, special attacks is like the best. So. Yeah, Red Hulk, definitely one of my better ones. I um, bypassed that damage cap for like... <laughs> the damage cap is like 50%, or sorry, 50k. We dealt like 82k. Uh, I believe it was 82k. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, excuse me guys, but it wasn't an 82k. It was an 85k. Man, this is so powerful, man. I'm at, like, we have the six fragiles and five furies, which is the most you can see probably, because there's no way you can apply more fragiles. But I really would love to see a synergy for Karnak that... And when he heavy attacks, when he like knocks the opponent down, he pauses the fragile as well. Like reminds me of the stealth spider synergy where he's got those passives and he uh, pauses the debuff ones if he dashes back. Uh, that'd be really cool for Karnak, man. But I can't wait to see if they add a synergy for him. But I'm super happy that I took it to rack for. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.